flag, which simply means that they that they moved here. And as you can, as we've experienced at the state house and in this group, people label people free staters when they're not. They've been here 20, 30 years. They've been there their whole lives, and they're just they have an, an idea in their head that anyone who's this ideology, you can just throw one more label on them. Um, in fact, there's only uh, 14. Um, state reps. So I've been involved with I'm really the happy to Occupy have Movement peripherally. I've been very supportive of the movement as a whole, even if I don't agree with all of the actions or statements of all of the members. I think I see it as a very good thing to pull the 99% together against corporatism and fascism and all those other isms that we that are oppressing us. So as a free stater, one who joined the Free State Project and moved to New Hampshire in 2007 to find more freedom, I I was invited to come to this meeting today uh, spontaneously, and I didn't even know what it was all about. Uh, Dan stopped by and said, come on down, and we'll, there's a, an Occupy General Assembly meeting. And basically I said, okay, and I got dressed and <laughs> I was on my way. When I got here, the first thing I saw were a couple of signs denouncing free staters. One of them said that free staters are an invasive species, and the other one said something about free staters practicing austerity, whatever that means. And I thought, wait a minute, I thought we were supposed to be here in solidarity against the big bad corporations, the Republicrats, Obamni, uh, the war on drugs, the war on the phony war on terror, the you name it, the that power, the Northern Pass. I mean, isn't that what the issues are? Isn't that what we're supposed to be here for? So the next thing I knew, free staters, and that term wasn't defined, by the way. What is a free stater? Uh, there are people calling people free staters who aren't free staters. Okay. You've been here for a long time, long before there was ever free state project, so it's kind of insulting. If, for people to use that as a pejorative term when they don't even know who it is they're talking about. It just doesn't seem to make sense. So the next thing I knew, we've got people that I know that I'm familiar with who were not hostile, that, and we're kind of kind of gathering together and forming little groups, and I'm, and I'm wondering aloud, what's going on here? If, if, if we're not welcome, what are we even doing here? Like, how quickly anyway. into uh, was there any semblance of an official meeting no. of everybody no. together no. before the split? No. What happened was, and there was all, there were these, there were people like here. Even you, you were here at this meeting. Everybody's uh, open, friendly, uh, not talking over each other, respecting uh, uh, differences of opinion, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. That's the kind of thing I would expect to find at an Occupy meeting. So, for these individuals to have this look on their face, you know, like they're just looking, they're just full of hatred. And ad they're, they're taking this adversarial approach, which seemed to me completely the opposite of what I would expect I don't believe so, no. to find at an Occupy meeting. And then at that point, this, this guy, I guess the character that everybody's been talking about, I don't even know who he is. This is my first time, this is my first impression, and it's not a good one, of those individuals who basically said, if you're one of them, you're, you know, stay here, leave your guns, we're going over there. And next thing you know, uh, almost half the group uh, split off and went over in that direction. So, 
it left the rest of us scratching our heads, wondering many of the things that I just talked about. And um, yeah, I don't know how to conclude this except to say that the actions of those individuals are rather reprehensible. And, and those calling themselves occupiers really ought to be ashamed of themselves. So you don't feel they much represented the 99% today? Well, I don't see 99% of the people in this country acting that way. So, of course not. No. We're, we're all 99%. We're supposed to be fighting the, the 1%, the oligarchy, right? The, the, the government and their corporate buddies, right? I'm going over at Dos Amigos here. For... All right. All right. I'm right behind you. All right. We'll walk up because I'm looking one of the problems. I went to...